Okay, guys, in this video we will continue with uh, chapter 1.4 and 1.5. But um, what we'll just try to do is we'll just try to do some examples, um, some problems. And the idea is that I'll put down the question. And then what you need to do is you need to pause the video and then try it on your own. And then after, when you unpause, then I will go through the solution. So please try to do that. Don't just watch the whole solution. Please try to do it on your own, otherwise there's no point. So, um, I have taken some problems that you might not have seen. I've taken it from some other textbooks, from some uh, some other sources, and then there's one which is in the, the 13th edition. Okay, so some of them might seem easy. I'm just going to do three or four problems. So the first one is, uh, let's say the first problem. Megagram per millimeter. Okay, so pause the video, try to solve that one, and then when you've unpaused it and you, well, you've tried it, then we will we will look at how to solve it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to convert it into the exponential form. So, so really, maybe I I didn't really pose the question properly, but Essentially, what they're going to ask you is um, represent this in SI units with an appropriate prefix. SI units with appropriate prefix, and then they also might ask you concerning significant figures. So let me just write this down here. They're going to they're give you a question like this, and they're going to say, um, write it down in, in SI units with an appropriate prefix and with the a certain number of significant um, figures. Okay, so those are really the three things that they're going to ask you. Okay, so we need how do we how do we solve this problem? How do we put it into SI units, appropriate prefix, significant figures? Although this one does this specific one doesn't speak concerning sig figs. Okay, first thing is we need we need to do is we need to convert this into its exponential form. Okay, remember in the previous video I discussed the difference between exponential form and prefix. So let's convert this into exponential form. We have 10 to the, what would this be? 10 to the 6 grams over 10 to the minus 3 meters. And the solution then is 10 to the 9 grams per meter. And then, so this now is in exponential form. But we want it in the, with the appropriate prefix, which then becomes gigagram per meter. Okay, that, that is a pretty straightforward problem. I hope you all got that right. The next one is looks like this. We have kilosecond per meter gram squared. Kilosecond per meter gram squared. Okay, pause the video and try to solve this on your own. Okay, I'm so glad that you paused the video and you solved it on your own. What, remember what we're trying to do is get it into the S correct or into the SI units, into uh, the appropriate prefix, and later we need to um, route it off to, the, uh, to a certain number of sig figs. Okay, so how do we do this? First, we convert to exponential form, which is, what is kilo? Kilo is 10 to the 3 seconds over meter. Now, this is an interesting one because remember, if you attended class, if you actually studied your textbook, you'll see that in the denominator, we need to keep the mass unit in kilograms. So what is grams? Gram, a gram is 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. A gram is 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. So let's substitute that in here. A gram is 10 to the minus 3 kilogram, but we have to square it, so that becomes squared there, and then we multiply out 10 to the 3 seconds over meter, and that becomes 10 to the minus 6, and that is kilogram squared. Oh, I'm 
sorry. I need to look at the camera. All right. Then if we bring that to the top, that becomes 10 to the 9 seconds over meter kilogram squared, which then which then becomes 10 to the 9 is gigasecond per meter kilogram squared. Okay? So we have this is in the exponential form, this is in the prefix, prefix form. All right. Now, let's try one more. Let's try one more. Let's just draw a line down here. Actually, let's try a few more. Okay. The next one which I would like us to do looks like this. Micrometer second divided by millimeter cubed. Okay, pause the video and please try that on your own. Okay, so we need to convert to exponential form. This looks like this, 10 to the minus 6 meter second over 10 to the minus 3 meter all cubed. So that then becomes 10 to the minus 6 meter second over 10 to the minus 9 meter cubed. And then the 9 goes to the top and we have 10 to the 3 meter second over meters cubed. All right. And then we can see that the meters, that meter cancels and that becomes a squared at the bottom. So we have kilo second meter squared. Kilo second meter squared. That meter there cancels and that, that becomes a, a squared. Okay? And then the 10 to the 3 becomes the kilo. So that now is in the SI units with the appropriate prefix. Okay, let's try another one, which is uh, also in your textbook. Not, well, this is the only one we're doing that is actually in your textbook. It looks like this, 0.631 megameter divided by 8.6 kilogram. And that is all squared. All right? So what we want is SI units prefix. And this one asks for three significant figures. Three significant figures. OK. So now that we have actually a number in front, we need to first deal with this number. So if you, first of all, we need to square the bottom here. So we have, let's look at the top point, 631 mega refers to what? That is 10 to the 6 meters divided by 8.6 squared. I calculated, I rounded off to two significant figures initially because of the two significant figures here. Okay. And we get kilogram squared. Okay, 8.6 squared, kilogram squared. Then we divided that by that. We got 0 0.631 divided by 74. And if we round off to three significant figures, we get 8.53 times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the 6 at the top meter divided by kilogram squared. Then this becomes 8.53 10 to the 3 meter per kilogram squared, which is in exponential form. And we have 8.53 
kilometer per kilogram squared. Okay, I hope these are helpful. Hope these will give you some practice in solving more problems and getting better. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.